Hey guys, I'm Keisha Golder and welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an incredible topic to discuss. Unlocking your voice to help crush those gender bias in communication so that you're able to thrive. We're diving into four key areas today, which are challenging stereotypes, practical strategies, inclusivity, and of course, empowerment. So by the end of this video, you'll have actionable insights to empower your communication journey. Before we begin, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on any of our empowering content. Let's kick things off with challenging stereotypes. We all know the ster We all know that stereotypes can be limited. But did you know that they play a big role in communication? Stereotypes can affect how we perceive ourselves and others, especially when it comes to women of color like myself. Take a moment to reflect on the stereotypes you've encountered. Write them down and challenge them with counterexamples. Share all of those thoughts below in the comments. As we move on to practical strategies, we need to know that communication can be challenging, but there are several techniques that we can use to help us navigate communication with confidence. Assertiveness is one. And assertiveness is just the art of expressing our thoughts, feelings, and needs while respecting the rights and boundaries of others. When using assertiveness, be sure to use I statements because they convey your feelings and needs without placing the blame on others. For example, instead of saying, you always interrupt me, say, I feel unheard when I am interrupted. To be assertive, practice being a good listener. Play, pay close attention to others' perspectives and acknowledge their feelings and concerns. Establish boundaries that are respectful but firm. Let people know what you're comfortable with and what you're not, ensuring that your needs are met without compromising your self-respect. The second thing that we can do is through self-expression. When we effectively use self-expression, we convey our thoughts and emotions authentically. Here is how you can improve your self-expression. Develop a vocabulary for your emotion. Now, I know you're thinking, what is Keisha talking about? What does she mean, a vocabulary for your emotions? How many times have you talked to someone in... All you hear is good, fine, okay. I want us to expand our emotional vocabulary to accurately express our feelings. So instead of saying, I'm fine, we can say, you know what? Today I'm feeling overwhelmed and I really need some support. Build your self-expression skills by starting in less challenging situations. So be sure to share your thoughts and emotions with your friends and family in those less formal situations. Now, activity is a vital part of effective communication. It's about creating those environments where everyone feels heard and respected. What does inclusivity look like in communication? So that means when you're communicating, you're making sure everyone feels welcomed, heard, and respected. You are promoting open and productive dialogue. So when you enter these conversations, you're open-minded. You use language that is inclusive of everyone. And again, you are mindful of your non-verbal cues. Now we're going to go on to empowerment. Empowerment is where it all comes together. When you crush gender, gender bias and communicate confidently, you're on the right path to personal and professional growth. Empowerment in communication is about gaining the confidence and skills to express yourself effectively while overcoming any and all bias or barriers that may exist. It's the process of recognizing your voice's value. 
and using it to achieve your personal and professional growth. So how do you build the confidence? You build the confidence through self-awareness. If you've spent any time on this page or reading any of my blog posts, you know that self-awareness is a major part of the journey. So empowerment begins with self-awareness, recognizing your strengths, your areas for improvement in life, and in this instance, communication, so that you understand what you bring to conversations. You understand what you bring to jobs. You understand what you bring to relationships. You also know how to overcome those challenging conversations. So I want you to actively work on improving your communication skills. And this can be public speaking, active listening, assertiveness, anything involving communication. I want you to work on it so that you become more effective. Share your thoughts about empowerment and experiences in the comments below. So we've covered a lot of ground today. And I hope that you found this discussion as empowering as I had. Remember, communication is a journey. And by challenging those stereotypes and adopting practical strategies, embracing inclusivity, and seeking empowerment, you're well on your way. Don't forget to like this video if you found it valuable and share it with friends who need an empowerment boost. Remember, your voice matters. Thank you for joining us today. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our empowering content. Keep crushing the gender bias, unlocking your voice, and thriving in your communication journey. You've got this. Until next time, stay empowered, stay confident, and stay connected.